one. And we're live. Of course, we are. Which I'm devouring. That's it. That's that's what we're here for. We have pizza again, guys. We have pizza. We uh, have pizza. My name is Shut Up Kristen. My name is Tom Cat. And together we make Cat and Kristen. Okay. It's based off our names. It's like it's off it. of our names. I don't know if it's like a parent or not, but that's that's what's. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, ah! oh hellscape! <laughs> Well, our audio's working, as we just learned from uh, Tom's phone going off. I'm going to also share this. Uh, hello, everybody. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, hello, Nikki. Um, hello, Jack, Gemma, um, Matt. Walter, Matt, oh, yeah, Sneezy, Dopey. Too. Everyone. Uh, I'm going to share this. Donner, right Blitzen. It's true. Now my thing's probably going to go off. It's not going to go off, I promise. Everything's fine. Uh, okay. Nope, it did. It did. Uh, well, That's not. Here we are. We, we tried. <laughs> we tried. We tried, kids. You guys are zoomed in. Um, zoomed in. I don't think any more than usual, unfortunately. It's a no. We looked. We look normal here. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know either. Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing I can really do about that. Nah, you well. Never mind, it's good, says Walter. Okay. Good. You little liar! And it's true, Nikki, you are Rudolph. Can attest now. Can attest. The joke paid off. Um, hello and greetings. Nikki, the red-nosed cosplayer. It's true. Uh, we had a phenomenal shoot this past weekend. Yeah, we did. Uh, it was Nikki. a lot of fun. It was so good. Yeah, shot by our wonderful friend Phil. Nightmare 6? Nightmare, nightmare 6. Yeah, Nightmare, nightmare six. 6. It was a pool party. It was a pool party. <laughs> Of the chimichanga variety. <laughs> Why we didn't have chimichangas? I have no idea. We, we, failed were, we were missing everything. on a dead. We, we were missing a dead everything. pool. We missed. We were missing Ryan Reynolds. We were, oh, I'm always missing Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> always. Really, I'm always miss, missing Blake Lively, who I'm far more interested in. Honestly, uh, though. If I, I've said this since I was like, I swear, like ten years old. From Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and Gossip Girls, there's if there's mm -hmm. one person in this world that I would actually switch lives with. It's Blake Lively. I mean, and I was, then she I, married Ryan Reynolds, I, and I was like, who read my diary? <laughs> <laughs> who read my diary and made it reality for someone else? Well, it wasn't uh, me. Oh, my gosh. No, it wasn't. That's Tragically so. My Tragically fairy godmother. So. I tried. I waved my magic wand, and, and nothing happened. Disaster. This so, is yours, by the way. It is mine. Oh, fabulous. Mm -hmm. I, could, I could use a drink. Um, so, hello and greetings. Um, today we're going to be talking about... Two big topics, um, ego in the cosplay community, but I also, do you mind if I start with my thing? Just because hopefully it'll be shorter than our Absolutely. second no, segment. No, 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 go ahead. So, what I wanted to start off with, uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm part of a Sailor Moon cosplay group called Moon Menagerie. Um, so for the last, for, I'm not, I'm not sure how long it's been going on for, I think a couple weeks. The last couple weeks, we've been encountering a really interesting situation with an individual uh, who on Instagram has been sending uh, people in our group, uh, members of our group individually, uh, messages on Instagram in which he is pretty much sa saying that because we haven't been either following him back or responding to his comments directly, just normal comments on Instagram photos, um, that we are discriminating against him and that we are contributing to his anxiety and we must be... We must hate him so much and think he's so weird that we are specifically not following him back or commenting back to him. This has been a situation. So I want to talk about this because uh, all of these messages have been extraordinarily uncalled for. And over the last couple of days, as we've been talking about it a little bit more publicly, um, we've been getting numerous messages from other members of the Sailor Moon cosplay community. Um telling us that they've had the exact same experience with this person. Um, literally where they've messaged us and we hadn't, hadn't named the person and had messaged us and been like, are you talking about this guy? Individual. Yeah. It's crazy. I will read to you, Barry, because I have gotten permission very quickly to... I, we've gotten numerous screenshots of almost all the exact same messages. Um, but this is like the gist of what I'm talking about. Um, is that something that he said to one of our girls was, hey, 
Did you judge me for some reason? I had followed you and complimented your cosplay and asked what you thought of my cosplay, but you ignored my comment and page. I guess you discriminated against me for being a male Sailor Moon fan, and it sucks how sexist and judgmental a lot of Sailor Moon cosplayers are. I unfollowed you and won't bother you again. Goodbye. Separate message to same person. You ignored my comment, so did you judge me for being a male Sailor Moon cosplayer? Thanks for the not-so-friendly reminder of how close-minded and cruel the Sailor Moon fandom is. I'm not kidding. Literally, from people that are members of my group, from other members of other Sailor Moon groups, have all sent almost the exact same messages from this person. Um, sending them messages, accusing us of uh, of hating him because he has anxiety. Anxiety comes up in a bunch of his other things. He says, I have really bad social anxiety and I always feel like I'm being judged by others. Um, so when I all I did was ask why you ignored my comment and then praised your cosplay, uh, you blocked me for asking a question. He says all this weird stuff. It's crazy. Um, but the problem is that he's also making multiple accounts now that he's getting blocked on accounts. So he's making shadow accounts and sending people similar messages or comments. Do you do, do you know do the you, muffin do, man? Do, do, well, I mean, I know he lives on Drury Lane. I love him. Do you remember mm -hmm. tiny little trolls with the spite with the crazy hair? Yeah. That's what I think that guy looks yeah, like. Yeah, truly, truly. I think that's what he looks like. It's very um, frustrating. The problem is that in the beginning, when he's presenting these messages to some people, they aren't that blatant to, off the get go, and so a couple people have responded to him very nicely. Um, very, very nicely. And then he's gone on to call us bitches, to call us whatever. Because when you're not talked to, the obvious next step is to start cursing somebody out. I'm sure, Jade, that you're probably, we're probably talking about the same person. But the, the thing here is, a lot of these messages have also started off with him, like, very clearly he's also trying to guilt people into talking to him. That's not the way to go about making cosplay friendships, y'all. This is not the way. This is not the way to go about it. The only people that yeah. can guilt me are family members. Truly. And and even then, that's a stretch. Yeah. It's very dramatic um, and very uncalled for. And, and he's been spamming a lot of, the, of these people with these messages, which is inappropriate. It, the bottom line, too, is that, like, as mu everybody deserves respect, but you commenting on someone's picture or following an account does not mean that, that it isn't an exchange rate. You don't get an automatic follow back or an automatic comment back or whatever. And not doing so isn't also a, a fuck you. It's not a flip off. It's just a, maybe that person didn't see the comment yet. Maybe that person hasn't checked out your, maybe if, it, if it's an account with a lot of followers, sometimes... Things get lost in your feed. Literally, Instagram doesn't show you forever scrolling. They don't do it in chronological order, which is also very concerning. No, I to don't me. even want to talk. The algorithm is like a different day. I can't even. Yeah, tell me about it. Mm. Um. But yeah, just in case anybody gets these sort of things, always don't don't feel bad about reporting someone, blocking someone, because uh, if somebody is sending you these sorts of messages over and over and over and over and over again, like that's borderline harassment that we're getting into here especially you, if they're then calling you, you bitches and all this other stuff you didn't listen to me you didn't listen to me at all i'm going to send you some nasty nasty exactly. comments it's so it's ridiculous um and the other thing too is that like the fact that the, the the thing that bothers me the most is that like let's say jade and i are talking about the same person again my group has literally heard now of multiple people that we've gotten same screen sh screenshots from mm -hmm. um who have gotten almost the exact same, same messages from him, uh, all Sailor Moon, but also some people that he's taken pictures with at cons because he's a tuxedo mask cosplayer, um, uh, have also been like, yeah, that guy has made me feel really uncomfortable post doing this. Like, he posted a picture of these two people, to, of him and these two people together, and he was like, you didn't follow me, you didn't comment on it, and so I can't believe you're such a raging bitch sort of deal. That's not great. That's not good. Mm-mm. No. No. I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, not great. And it is sort of copy and paste, cut and paste much, but they all differ slightly. Some of them mention his anxiety, some of them don't. Some of them mention it's just kind of crazy and all over the board. Um, just, it's just not a good thing. Yeah. So, like, guys, don't do that. Girls don't do that. I mean, guys as a general term. People. Yeah, people don't people. do that. People. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't um, do that. No. It, that's not a way to make friends in the community. That's not a way... 
Jessica do any of these sorts of things in the community. Do we, do we need to have another episode where we go over how to make friends in the cosplay community? How to community? make friends? We did an episode on that, and you should go and check it out. Because it's episode eight. I think yeah. it's episode eight. I'm pretty sure it's episode eight. Walter, that's, did I send you a... Th- that's very impressive. Oh, yeah, because Walter Because Walter, Walter yeah. had asked. Yep, yep, Walter had asked. Um, d- please, ladies, gentlemen, lentlemen, I, I implore you. Yeah. If, if you're feeling some type of way, don't get discouraged if we don't immediately acknowledge your existence. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's oh, um, God. I can barely keep up with a general text message with people. I can barely... I can barely respond can, back to hey. I can attest to that. It's true. I I'm terrible at that. it. I'm awful at it. It's real bad. It's real bad. Uh, I'm not proud of that fact. I've tried to work on it. It's But I mean... Awful. To, to uh, and this also has a lot to do with harassment in general. Yeah. Uh, because a lot of female cosplayers go through it where if someone doesn't respond to them, they're called a bitch or yeah. like, yep. like stop, stop. Yeah. yeah. You're 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 not doing yourself any good by by calling someone a name if they don't respond to you. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah. It's it's not an indicator of people. Uh, some people to, don't check social media that much either. Like a lot of people do, a lot of people don't. There's a lot of stuff. That's not a way to go about it. And again, you following an account is entirely your own decision, and they that person does not owe you anything. Thank you. They do not owe you anything. Get out of my head I, immediately. That's it. That's one of the major things that I said today is that this all stems from like I followed you, so now I owe you. Because the other thing that this person has been doing is following. Uh, following someone then unfollowing then following again and unfollowing trying to get that follow back and like that that's that not doesn't a, work. that doesn't work that doesn't that work that doesn't work we 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 see through your clever ruse we do you have not you have not uh, pulled pulled the wool over my eyes just yet <laughs> uh. but but yes what what she said just yeah. because you're following someone doesn't mean that you're owed a hello no, or a anything. goodbye where, where did you it, it, Again, if we're if we were talking about somebody who had said something rude to you on a photo or something else, and that's a whole other situation. Because that's directly there. That's, that's directly, directly in the you. comments yeah. section. You can you can combat that. Yep. Which yeah. I've had to do on a few of my pictures. Yeah. Immediately block when they do the follow on follow. I can't stand it. And that's the other thing is that we've had so many people. I had a couple of really good friends today be like, "Yep, that person keeps on following me on following until I finally blocked them." Um, and when they checked their unread messages, they had had messages from that person. That's of another course. thing, too. If you're not following a person and they send you a message, they might not see it immediately because Instagram does that filter thing where it's like people you're not following. Which I'm very thankful I'm for. also very thankful I'm very for thankful. it. I'm also very thankful for that Instagram does that thing where if a person, another person sends you a photo, they blur it out. You have to accept the photo. Yes. Love which that. Which is absolutely, that. absolutely brilliant. Yep. Dick pic repellent right there. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Spits, spits. Um... Yeah, it's, you know, just don't do that. That's all. I just wanted to mention it also because if anybody has received messages and stuff like that, again, feel free to block that person, report that person. Like, you're completely in the right to do so. And don't let anybody make you feel bad for something that, in fact, you did nothing wrong about. Um, Because that's the whole thing is that there's been so much guilting done by this individual. Uh, And also, like... The whole thing too is that he kept on saying to members of my group, like, "Oh, I have high anxiety. I have high anxiety." And members, uh, members of our group have high anxiety. Like, the, well, that's that's a thing. Like, what does that have you to do? Know, with you the have no idea. Team yeah, exactly. It's not a. Anyway, just wanted to. I wanted to mention it. I'm not the. I'm not naming the person because it's. I don't. I'm not saying this so that people will go and attack we're, him. We're not going to name drop. I'm, I'm not name dropping because there. I don't want anybody to go and attack him. That's not the point of this. It's just the point of like block them. My group is actually independently since we've gotten so many things. We're investigating uh, how we can possibly further um, report this individual. But that's about that. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> hey, Kristen. Yes, Tom. Is there ego in the cosplay community? Ego in the cosplay community? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> ego? What? People with with individuals who th- think, no, no, not at all. They don't exist. They don't exist. They don't exist. No. They exist everywhere. Yes. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> one of the things that we have been seeing an awful lot of yeah. in, in this community yeah. is that if a person has a substantial amount of followers, mm -hmm. that they think they have some type of pull. Yeah. Um, and, and there are certain cosplayers that that feel that their opinions need uh, need to and are the word of the Lord. Um, no. 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 <laughs> That's no. That's not how this works. And I want to clarify right now, especially because, like, obviously we are two cosplayers that are talking on a live show about cosplay every week. Um... The difference here that I will say is that, like, if anybody commented and said, Kristen, Tom, I think what you're saying is wrong. This is where I disagree. We by no means think that we are what we are saying is law of the land. We are not above anybody. No, we're not above anybody. We no. also don't believe that we will never make a mistake, ever. Like, that's, we try our best, try our best in every way that we can. But if somebody came to us and was like, Guys, I really feel like you did this wrong and you stated this in a bad way. We would 100% own up to, to that. We would 100% want to own up to that and yeah. also f exactly fix the, fix the problem. Yes. And a lot of people, not a lot of people, I don't want to just say that everybody in the. There are, there are, there are a number. Yeah. There are a number of individuals yeah. that would not feel that they have made a mistake. Yeah. Um, I usually joke around saying that I'm completely and totally infallible and that I'm this, this person who's above everybody else. I'm really not. And anybody that meets you for even a second knows that, like, that, like, that is part of the, like, air that's sort of deal. That's part of the shtick. That's you by part no of the means, You by no means are, are actually, that's not your actual headspace, you know? Exactly. That's, that's just the don't let the bastards get you down side of you sort of thing. That's the, which is amazing. Um, but I think a lot yeah. of, I think a few people just take it that, that extra step further. Yeah. And, um, I, <laughs> I, um, I want to let everybody know, mm -hmm. uh, and this is, this is directly from the heart. Yeah. If you, for a moment, think that you are above somebody because of your following, because of the amount of fans that you have, because of uh, because of the amount of money that you make on Patreon. I got news for you, sweet cakes. No. No. You're, you're not above anybody. Not at all. You not know, even I've, the slightest. I've I've seen a lot of uh, I've seen a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people. I've seen a lot of um different subs, different types of memes. Mm -hmm. And one of my personal favorites is it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter. How well liked you are, it doesn't matter. Your sexuality, your gender, your mm -hmm. race, all of our coffins are going to be the same at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah, yep, that's a and, real, and yeah. Again, I, I want to point something out. This is cosplay. Yeah. This yeah. is going to a convention, mm -hmm. being a nerd, and loving life. Yeah. This isn't a popularity contest. No. And if you've had success in it and you've been able to make it into some sort of career Bully for you. For you. Amazing. Bully for you. That doesn't mean shit. That, that doesn't mean shoe fly pipe. It doesn't mean that anything. That just means that you're a terrific talent. Yes, totally. You know you how probably, to work a sewing machine. You yeah. know how to make armor. You, you, you yeah. know how to do these things. You've probably worked really hard. And also have been in the right place at the right moment, to be honest with you. This is what that I say all especially. the time. It's what I say all the time as like, I'm a YouTuber. I do all that sort of stuff. It's always like, I, you have to be ready. You're, you're probably working very, very hard. And you are working really hard for when the moment is right and you get really lucky. Because it's a combination of things. Being a really popular cosplayer at this point, I know so many people that are unbelievably talented do not have nearly as many followers as people that do very less complex builds. <laughs> that do way less complex builds. And so, like, that's... And neither one means more than the other, which is really what we all have to get out of our heads. It's like... And same thing... And that also goes for, like, when you're making cosplay friends and stuff, approaching people, treating everybody the same, treating everybody as as equals, not putting people on pedestals. That's, that's one thing that I want to point out to a lot of people. Yeah. My inbox like my legs, are always open. Can vouch. I will always... <laughs> she can. I will always invite people 
to talk to me. Yeah. I love talking to people. I will never turn away a soul. Yeah. I don't care if you're Jessica Negri. Yeah. I don't care if you're Yaya Han. I don't care if you're a cosplayer who's just getting into it for the first time. Yeah. I will always try and talk to somebody and make sure that they are well taken care of and explain that just because their first convention experience stank doesn't mean that their next one is going to be just as bad. Yeah. And, you know, I, I wish that more people had it in their heads that just being able to talk to a person and say, you're doing a great job. Yeah. You're not fucking up. Yeah. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Like, we need, we th this community needs more cheerleaders. Yeah. yeah. We need more camaraderie, for sure. Absolutely. We really do. Between, and the problem is that, mm. like, the biggest gap right now does seem to be between the really popular cosplayers and the lower tier I'm saying that in terms of follower count. Cosplayers. That seems to be the biggest bridge right now is because we're creating fame for cosplayers, which is great. But also, like, I, I, there's, there isn't a little bubble that follows you around when you walk mm. at a con with your co follower follower count on top of it. They're I mean, saying Black Mirror, damn it. I, I was literally just about to say, at least until Black Mirror comes true, we're, we're fine. And so I, like, I, I, I feel bad putting this on bigger cosplayers, but it really also is in your hands bigger follower cosplayers, which a bunch of you were really lucky, do watch this, like, use your platform to bridge that gap. Bridge that gap between that, like, is starting to be cre created between famous cosplayers and your everyday con goers. Like, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, in everybody's hands to make it better. This, this, is what, this is what concerns me. Yeah. Up until cosplay became a business, yeah. what did we do? Yeah. What 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 was time? When was there ever a time? Yeah. However many years ago, when we just cosplayed to cosplay, would we even be <laughs> mentioning the Instagram algorithm? Would earlier? this would this even would this be exist? a thing? Would this be a thing? Yeah. It's. I. You know. <sighs> you have to. You have to ask yourself so many times. Yep. That th this is just, you're just a person in a costume. Uh, like, that's it. The people in Times Square are sometimes making more money than either of us. Very are. fair. Oh my God. <laughs> Those people in Hollywood working on uh, Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard, Boulevard, they make them way more dough. They're, making, they're making so much more money, and their costumes are costume quality. They are. Oh my God. It's crazy. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all. No, not at all. But it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a problem, and it's the 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 thing is that if we don't start fixing it now, the gap is just going to get it's bigger. It's just going to keep on it's widening just gonna get and bigger. widening, and the divide is going to become. Yeah. Huh? Sounds a. I'm just not going to finish that statement because it sounds a lot like current events, doesn't it? Yeah. Fun time. Elitist. Fun time. Elitist. Yeah. Just widening that division. Yeah. This is one of those situations where, obviously, what we are talking about bridges into, a, I'm sure, a lot of other a places of in other, your life. Yes. Walter's even talking about how he's dealing with somebody in wrestling who he who has an ego problem and all this other things. Though so you're going to come into contact with a lot of people in a lot of different places. What we can control right now, what we can try to get under control, is, is the how, cosplay community. Is the cosplay community. Yeah. That and also how we react to other people. Exactly, yeah. It's, and don't and don't get me wrong. When I see somebody like Jessica Negri, do I get excited? Definitely, because am I like a fan? For sure. But but she gets this way over Eric. Listen, Eric is very special to me. <laughs> okay, listen, he is my hero of time. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, no, but I really. But at the same time, though. If like okay, so I fangirl a lot on here with Eric, correct? Let's use Eric as an example. We'll use Eric as an Eric example. and I though, we are going to be on a panel with Eric. Am I going to be like going up to Eric and be like, Oh my god, Eric, you're the best thing I've ever seen in the entire world and you're whatever like am I gonna treat him though like he is on some other level human? No, I'm gonna one hundred percent be a normal person with him. And am I gonna be like, I love your work and like <laughs> praise him? Yes. That's what but I'm I don't for. but I don't think that he's but I but do I think that Eric is a different like level human than I am no is he a wonderful hero of time yes and <laughs> Prince Peach and many other things why'd you have to bring Eric into this <laughs> why'd you have to bring my baby into this why'd you have to bring my love my senpai into this? this oh but yeah oh my goodness there's um, a palpable difference oh we got some comments wow though. we have a lot of comments actually. yeah 
Um, we need to spread the word about stopping having ego and stop bullying each other just for followers. Agreed completely, Jason. Um, what is what is Nikki saying? Nikki saying, my friend told me Monday that when I was in my Lady Deadpool cosplay, I was one of those posts outside the tunnel having photos taken by many, many photographers, and he heard someone say, ugh, another cosplayer that's full of themselves. I'm like, the reason why I was there for so long was, one, I was hungover, <laughs> and two, I see photo photographers running over to take a pic. And that's totally see, different. That's, that, that is totally Completely different because different. that's a person that's judging based on the surface. Yeah. And that's... Yeah. Uh, uh, that's unwarranted. That's uncalled for. Um, there's nothing wrong with wanting to have your picture taken at a con. Nothing wrong with that. Listen, Some people encourage it. Listen, I don't think... Is that a slight ego thing? Of course. But that's like ego where we're... That's not hurting anybody. That's not hurting anybody. You worked really hard on a costume. costume. You want pictures of it. That, that doesn't seem like a ridiculous thing to me by any means. A lot of people ask for pictures at cons. That's you also being like, if you if that is something that you are totally cool with, you're just being polite with people taking pictures and whatnot. That to me does not instantly be like, oh, that's somebody that's full of themselves or has mm -hmm. an ego problem. Um, where it becomes a problem is when you are inflicting that on other people. When you are holding for yourself example, above other people. For example, when it comes to, we'll use Nikki as an example. Yeah. If Nikki carried herself around saying, yes, I'm having my picture taken in the tunnel, I'm above my peers, I, 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 everyone is beneath yes, me, yeah. that's, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. In a bit of an overdramatic scale, but yeah. it's still a thing that certain people are, are unaware of, that there are people within this community that act like that. Yeah. And, and I think that when people are told that, they're sort of like... Really? In, yeah. in this community? Like, oh, Annie. Oh, Annie. Yeah. Oh, Annie. It's just a lot. It's it's a, it's a And it's a big problem. Um, I did it for the photographers, not for me. And even if you were doing that for you, it, that would not still, that to me would not be what we are talking about. Because like, there are times when both of us will do it just to have photographers take the pictures of us. Like, that's totally I mean, we sense. always have to ask ourselves... Why do we do what we do? Why do yeah. we get into cosplay? Yeah. How I got into cosplay was because of the attention that I was getting. Yeah. And because I got to cosplay as Catwoman on a regular basis. Yeah. Like, yeah, I got to be characters that I love. I got to meet other people that were as in love with these characters as I was. And it's super exciting to see photos of yourself as a character you love. That's super cool. Why do we all go to Disney and take pictures with Minnie Mouse? Because it's fucking Minnie Mouse. Okay? Because it's fucking Minnie Mouse. So, like, there's nothing. That, to me, does not strike me as, like, you have such an ego. You have such a, you know what? Yes, I want to see myself as, I want to see myself. I don't. I'm not trying to steal your thunder. I, as Catwoman. I I want to see myself as Catwoman. I don't. I, that's uh, so much spandex. That's uh, so much spandex. There's nothing wrong with spandex. There isn't. I'm just not interested in it at the moment. At the moment, that sounds very uncomfy. Just like, I would, I need zippers everywhere. I need to breathe. Um, yeah, that just doesn't sound comfy to me. But um, there is a big problem when people will... Like, I have had instances before where friends have blown me off to like go and hang out hang out with bigger bigger name cosplayers when like in reality they like barely know them and we had had friends we had had plans to like hang out and they ditch you because of these bigger cosplayers and then these bigger cosplayers there's like a big there's also like the social climber aspect of it too there's, in all circles back i have a serious problem yep with people that will become friends with other people mm -hmm. Because of their follower count. Mm -hmm. And uh, I take... Uh, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put myself out there for a little bit. Yeah. I will go out of my way to add an innumerable amount of people mm -hmm. to my friends list on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I will go out of my way to follow a number of people on Instagram. I will always try and do follow backs. Mm -hmm. I don't do them frequently. I should. Mm -hmm. um, but I have this really weird... Like, this... A little bit of potpourri about me. I always like keeping things slightly even. See, yeah, I get that. I understand like, that. Like, I always like having my follower count and my uh, follow, like, 
follower count and mm-hmm. then the people that I follow to be about the same number. Don't ask me why. It's just, you know, it's, it's a habit. You know, it's so weird too. And like, this is another thing is you, you know how like some people will look at a profile and they're like, if that person's following over a thousand people or whatnot, like that's a bad sign. Like that used to be a thing of like, you'd want to keep who you're following like really low to, to offset the whatever. I don't give a fuck about that anymore. I support everybody. Yeah. I follow, um, uh, I follow, I think almost like 2000 people on Instagram and like thrilled. Great. Who gives a fuck? But. <laughs> But, yeah. Get back but, to you. But when I do, yeah. <laughs> back to the important stuff. <laughs> back to the gem of this podcast. For I am the oh pebble and you are the gem. <laughs> it's not the pebble; it's the penguin. That's exactly. <laughs> I can accept being the penguin. Okay, if I'm the penguin in this situation, just be like, tell him, tell him, tell him, scooping it up. I <laughs> Nobody take my pebble, damn it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't fucking come for my pebble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every time. Every fucking So, episode. anyway. <laughs> Any who's all. Um, mm. yes. When it comes to me specifically, I will always go out of my way to add anybody yeah. and everybody. Um, there are some people who are still in my friends list that I won't accept, but that's also because I don't, like, know them. Mm-hmm. And I know that when I reach out to people that... I have a lot of, um, like, if I have over 50 friends in common, I'm going to add them. Agreed, yeah. And, Agreed. and more often than not, I do it because I want to get to know them. Yeah. I want to compliment their craft. Yeah. And I want to mother them, basically. That's it. That's all I ever want to do. We're I just, all just I, ducklings. We're all just... We're all just ducklings in time, <laughs> Tom's mind's eye. Yes! And he's like, everyone he's is like, my child. I am Mama Goose! I am the Mama Goose! And you are all my little ducklings. I am Mother Goose, damn it. That's it. I um, am Mother Goose. I'm like a rabbit. To the <laughs> I'm like a rabbit. I'm like eating but grass, that's... hopping around. <laughs> But I mean, that's, yeah. and that's honestly what some people do. Yeah. But it's when you go out of your way to say, oh, well, I know this person. Oh, well, yeah. I know that person. Oh, when people name drop. Ooh, I'm like, oh, God, why are we going there? Why are we, ha- why are we? Like, I'm all for spilling tea and dishing just desserts, but come on now, kids. That's, if you're saying something to me very blatantly, and it's always very blatant when it's meant to be a name drop, like, please know, I don't give a fuck. I just don't care. I just don't care. That's it's super cool. Glad that you met somebody who's so great at armor building or so cool at their craft. I hope you become friends with them so you can like learn about these things and get to know them and whatever. But like that is never. It, there's a different way to go about it, you know. It's it's a. The the ego problem is on both sides of people that are already popular and people that desperately want to be popular, and that is like a really bizarre it's true you watch people start to like collect fame almost Mm. and collect collect people that have uh a lot of followers and a lot of whatever and it becomes like oh well you know when i was cosplaying with this person or was that when i was cosplaying with this person and it's like who cares nobody cares who cares who are you nobody cares crawl back under your rock that's it uh you requested me when I only met for a few minutes, says Walter. Exactly. And you yeah. have never been happier with the with the with the choices that I've made. Yes, Walter. That's what that's <laughs> what no no no. <laughs> I'm only yelling at poor Walter. Yeah. But I mean You that's... are, you yell at Walter. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, I'm so sorry. <laughs> No, but that's that's honestly something I do. Yeah. And, you know, it always makes me laugh when I post those, like, things where it's like, oh, what was your first opinion of me, and now what do you think of oh, me? Oh, I don't want to know. Nine, <laughs> nine times out of ten. Again, this is me boosting my own ego. Speaking of Speaking which. Speaking of ego. Um, uh, when someone would be like, you added me randomly, and I didn't really know yeah. much about you. I knew a little bit about you, but now that I've actually had time to, like, see your work, see your posts, get yeah. to know you, you're really a, a wonderful, amazing yeah. person. And I'm just like, <laughs> I've, a, I've had a couple people tell me the intimidated thing and that I don't understand at all. Because I think I'm just a, a snowflake, basically. <laughs> I'm using that term pre-election. Pre-election, <laughs> Tommy Lauren ruining my entire life, snowflake. Oh, that's so She ruined past. that term for me, and I used to yes, say special snowflake did. all the time. I do not like oh, that girl. Oh, me neither. I, I do not like green eggs and ham. I do I'm not just, like them, oh. Sam I am. Oh, my God. Horton, you heard. You saw the who. Anyway, um... But an elephant faithful, one hundred percent. That's it. Uh, a person's a person, no matter how small. Oh my God! <laughs> Horton, here's who coming in clutch. Coming.
coming right at you. Watch Susical the Musical <laughs> as soon as you can. <laughs> um, oh, Ashley says, it's almost like people ride on fame rather than craft sometimes, or I think that that's a sustainable, or think that that is a sustainable way to cosplay. Um, and either way, even if you were the best crafter or whatever that still does not give you any sort of elitism over anybody you know like i agree with you sometimes that is definitely it's weird where it's like you almost haven't you want to be a co famous cosplayer without even paying your dues of like doing the cosplay part of it i think that i understand like where you almost want to do one cosplay and immediately become <laughs> famous <laughs> Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, that's it is. absolutely that is. delicious. That's rich. Slap <laughs> some frosting on that because I've been eating it right up. Um, yeah, it's a weird time. I don't like. Um, people who are obsessed with becoming cost famous become very tiring to deal with. Yes. We yeah. actually did an episode on the painful, painful effects of cost fame. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. <sighs> there. Are, yes, I agree. I agree. When it when it comes to ego in this community, yeah. there's no reason for it. Yeah. There's genuinely no reason. Like, what is, it, what is it going to get you? Be proud of what? your work. Be proud of what you've accomplished. But know that that is, like, your own personal thing, and it doesn't have to be other people's thing. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, ju just because you're, like, you've done something really, really mm -hmm. great, that should be enough. That should be enough. And then if something comes from it, if something comes from it, <laughs> if something able, comes out of it, if you're able to <clears throat> do that Patreon grind, if you're able to make that into a sustainable thing and people recognize your cons and you get invited as guests and whatever, amazing. But like, at the end of the day, you're still doing the exact same thing that everybody else is doing. You're, again, you are not above anybody. No. You've, and if you're, and, and again, it's, it's hard because, like, I imagine, I'm imagining arguments people would make with me about it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like, oh, well, but I post on my Instagram every day and I upkeep with my social media and whatever. That's your choice to do that, though. And that's not something that's given within the community and it you know, also doesn't I, guarantee <coughs> success. I always am curious. Yeah. And this is actually advice that I've given to a few people. Yeah. Don't post on Instagram every day. Yeah. The algorithms will not work in your favor any more than they already do. Yeah. It, you usually what I would pers this is what I would do personally. Now we've turned into social media one on one. I mean basically. Yeah, but, here we are. I mean it has it does have a yeah. lot to do with, oh, build, with building up a person and the the way that the person handles themselves. If you're a cosplayer yeah. and you're working on something, post development pictures every day. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. But like don't post the same thing every day. Yeah. Like I mean, when I when I have a photo shoot and then I get the photos back, I usually do it pretty sporadically. Like, yeah, yep. I won't do it like, oh well, here's one picture. Oh, I'll just post it again this like the next day. It gets exhausting after a while. Yeah. And like if if I mean if it builds up if it builds up your reach, yeah. does it? I, I don't. Not I don't, really. I don't know how. You know what? Here's the thing. This is like the same thing with YouTube too. Is that there is no there is no formula for gaining success on Instagram, on YouTube. On sometimes anything. it's just a, it it's, sometimes it's just being, luck and it timing. Is, yeah, it's timing. It is luck, and it is also then having that product that people are going to be really interested in. So like, yes, you could be building an incredible armor and have very little followers on Instagram, and like that's and there are plenty of people I know who are, have no interest in becoming cosplay famous they just want to make to make the costumes and meet people mm -hmm. um but like there's you could be doing all that stuff and posting every day and being on that grind and still not get anything from it and i like hate to be the person to like be like so many people will kind of lie to you about this and will be like no, no 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 you'll definitely you'll you'll get there sometime you'll get there sometime that's not always the case it's just not always the case and it's not even and it's not reflective of your work either you know, it's not reflective be, of you because this is a form of art yeah think about yeah. the art community yep think about artists actors yeah. designers performers uh you name it. Lighting crew, sound crew. Just think of that. There's no guarantee in getting these positions. Correct. It's always, always in who you know and how you present yourself into the fold. Yeah. 
if you present yourself as this cock of the walk, mm -hmm. better than everybody type of person, yeah. which I'm sometimes guilty of, I'm not going to lie, mm. but if you do it in a way that some people are going to be turned off by it, you're going you're going to end up losing a lot more people. How does yeah. the saying go? You catch more flies with honey than you do with Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And I mean, that's... That... And listen, and I've watched some people, too, just on, like, the flip side of the cosfame thing. Like, you'll see some major cosplayers who, like, who become really big, they make a couple mistakes, whatever, that then receive an incredible amount of hate that, like, you have to be prepared for. Cosfame is not all it's chalked up to be, I'm sure, a lot of people would tell you. Is it amazing that you're able to profit off of something that you love doing? Yes, there's a lot of negative stuff that comes with that, too. And being ready for that and doing all of those things, like, I... It, I honestly embrace that. I think sometimes... <laughs> no, 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 that's fair. But to be fair, like, there are a couple people that come to mind who I watch who, like, they say a lot of stuff and they post every day or whatever and they become really, really famous, but they've also done a couple things wrong and who receive non-stop, like, flowing hate every single day and that then other members of the cosplay community kind of have turned on sort of deal. And that's really not great either like it's a weird we have to all figure out how to and that also stems out of putting people on a pedestal and thinking that people yes. are infallible so this all comes from thinking following someone's ego and and realizing that like they're just a normal person and that's something that a lot of people need to come to terms with yeah. in this community like we're we're all people yeah we all go to the bathroom the same way yeah there's there's really <laughs> It really isn't much that separates one from the other, yeah. aside from, you know, a great number of things. But you get my point. You get the point, though. You understand. Um, Let's see. Oh, well, there's quick. a lot going on in the conversation. Kat says, uh, like me, I just got asked by Cosplay Burlesque Group to perform this summer at a con. And I'm like, uh, how, why me? I'm sure there's more talented people. I told a friend and she got mad because she said she's a better cosplayer and has been doing it longer and here's the kicker. She's more fit than me and made my confidence go down and her true ego showed to me. Yeah, no, you need to, that's, that is a perfect example of like support, more support is needed in this community. Um, th that, ugh, that's ridiculous to me. That's so ridiculous to me. Unbelievable. That's. That someone would have that much gall. No. <laughs> this beats all world's records for running, jumping, and standing gall. Like, also, this also goes into a deeper conversation of, like, what also makes you a better cosplayer than somebody else? Like, craft level, I guess, but, like, but... Craft level? How you present, I mean... There's a lot of factors. So how I'm you present that, like, yourself. Saying that, like, somebody is more, is a better cosplayer and has been doing it longer. To be fair, doing it longer does not necessarily mean doing it better. Um... And that doesn't necessarily also mean, like, you, that nobody should be tiered in that way of, like, you get priority because you've been doing this. Like, no, that's, we all work at different levels. We all work at different, I don't know. That bothers me because, like, that's a perfect example of you were given a really awesome opportunity and, like, you don't mean someone that, shitting, someone on, your shitting parade. Right on your parade. I hate that. I don't like that at all. Um,. Matt says, rule I live by at conventions, always stay humble, humble and kind. Yeah. That's yes. true. Yep. Yeah. Because he, here's the thing that you have to remember. Yeah. If you're a kind person, yeah. if you're a humble person, if you go out of your way for other people, it gets taken note of. And you're not going to run into a lot of the problems that we've talked about here today. Um, except with people around you, which is a different situation, but... We can cover drama in the cosplay community. Much for the We'll see where we're at after Katsuko. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll see where we're at after Katsuko. We Katsukam. will see where we're at oh after Katsuko. Oh, my Katsukam. God. Um, just to those uh, that are new, that are getting into cosplay for the first time, these are things that you are more than likely going to have to deal with. Yeah. Um, to those that are veterans, to those that have been doing it for a little bit longer, just know that you're a fucking nerd in a costume. Yeah. That and you welcome may, in new people. That you welcome may, in people. Yeah, welcome them in because guess what? You ain't going to be doing it for much longer unless, you know, you're yeah. me. And you may just want to say, I'm tired. Yeah. I, want, I want someone else to, like, <laughs> take up the mantle. <laughs> That's it. 
No, and 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 the whole thing is that you would not continue gaining popularity also if there were not new people in the community. Uh, yes, that if there were not that new is people incredibly in the community, important to take. If you were not of. new people in the community uh, that were awesome and potentially could also be very good, great, amazing, uh, popular one day cosplayers. You would not be where you are if there weren't other people that appreciated your art. So. That's just all it's, a bunch of things. Also, to be clear, because both Ashley and Jade were talking about how they post once a day, definitely not hating on posting once a day. No, it's there's nothing a, wrong with posting once a day. Means. Not at all. Um, it's just... But, yeah, but that also... No, what you should post every day and just don't post the same things yeah, over and over. And unless it's animals. Unless... That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, the fur balls and whatnot. Yeah, it's just... Ugh. Nothing, nothing, beats a crit, nothing beats a critter. I really wish that there wasn't such, such thing as better cosplayer because it's always based on how many followers or how good they look in a cosplay. I'd rather hear about how kind and good the cosplayer is as to end, end to others while they show how artistic and talented they are and how much they love their craft. And that's completely true. You're right. A lot of people judge cosplayers by, like, so you'll see cosplayers that get tons and tons of followers very simply because they look a lot like a character. And like, Well, I mean, that's, like, that's, that's like unfortunately... They were born looking like that character That's... but yeah that, that is gonna come with the territory and that doesn't mean that they also should be banned from getting followers one of the one of the things that i had said years ago was that yeah. the best way to get famous in this community is to either have an incredible body yeah. to be an incredible builder or to look like the character you're cosplaying as yeah. and those are the three main ingredients that will get you more followers yeah. it's not so much that you're a better cosplayer it's just you got lucky yeah look at um uh, Joker's Harley. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, Harley's Joker. Harley's Joker. He, when he puts on the makeup and the cosplay yeah. that he made. Yeah, it's an amazing cosplay. And he cosplay. does, his, his, yeah. his hair is right. Yes. Like, he imbues, he imbues yeah. the character. Yeah. And that, he, that got him a lot of play. Yeah. And, I mean, look at Jessica Negri. Yeah. She has gotten so many accolades and whatnot because She's a gorgeous model. Yeah. She's a fantastic builder. Yeah. And she has a great body. Yeah. So she she's another yeah. one who's a triple threat yes. and has yeah. all three of the things that you yeah. need. Because at the same time, I don't want to encourage, yeah, I don't want to encourage us to be like, <laughs> women with great bodies, we should be shaming them for them getting p really popular because that's completely wrong. Like, that's so, so, that's like very, very, very wrong. But I agree with you that I wish that better cosplayer wasn't even a thing on our minds um, because there are so many different factors that well, go into being a better cosplayer. Also, also take into consideration yeah. that I think when people say a better cosplayer, I think a lot of it has to do with... Craft level. Uh, with craft level. Le yeah, yes. Um, I mean, why do you think conventions have cosplay contests? Yes, and that I totally agree. And that is also, again, we, we've talked about this many times. Like, it's not a cosplay isn't a competition unless you are in a competition, which is a big thing to, to keep in mind especially with the ego stuff um oh yeah yeah um let's see really quick um it's because cosplayers that have cosplayed uh longer than me that have gotten me here in the first place i'm grateful for the pros who took me in and showed me the way that's amazing yeah that's that's what we should be doing is like people that have been doing it for a long time being like let me help you get further in this community yeah. as in like getting more making more friends making more or whatever naturally growing that sort of audience um yeah a lot of people are saying of, around the same thing for sure um nothing beats a cat video uh, cat nothing videos, beats a cat video except for a dog video um i agree I agree too. Also, I've been finding uh, as I gain more followers, I've been starting to get more comments that are body shaming, commenting on my figure negatively. So, Cat is right, sadly. I, Somebody said angry. Somebody put an no, angry face. Someone did an angry face, but then someone did a flower. Like, did we did we get the flower icon back? What? Are we flowers? <laughs> are we budding? <laughs> oh my god! He's a man, Violet. <laughs> We're finally sprouting. We're finally sprouting. We're finally sprouting. Oh, sprouting. We've grown. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else that immediately comes to mind? Be humble. Yeah. Be humble. That's it. And as we always say, if you see either one of us at a con, please approach us. We would love to... 
I know that I look like a linebacker, but I promise you I'm as gentle and kind as your dear sweet mother. I I know I look like I'm 16. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm 25. But you can still approach me. <laughs> I know I'm very intimidating. <laughs> I know I'm super intimidating, but please approach me. I know I am not as fierce as I appear, <coughs> but I do smile a lot. <coughs> smile with your eyes, kids. Smile with your eyes. Whew. Okay. Um, <laughs> that, but, everything's fine. But yes. Yeah. Um, jailbait. Thank you. Oh, I'm so thankful for you, Matt. I appreciate that comment so much. Jailbait. That's it. That's oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm like, 25. What, what audience are you 25. trying to cater to? That's it. I, I know I look 16. I know I look 16. <laughs> no, because I'm saying. <laughs> because some people, I feel like there are people at cons that are like, nah, I'm not talking to her. She's she is small bean. Oh, she is small, she is small bean. bean. <laughs> um, uh, and Tom gives the world's best hugs. It's I true. Do. It's true, Nate. I do. I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I met Nate once. He was lovely. I met him over and over again. Oh. We kept on running into each other the same day. I loved- uh, he was amazing. Nate's great, but it was very funny. Hopefully, you'll get to see Nate at uh, at Consecon. Hopefully, I'm hoping that yeah. he's there. Yes, 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 yes. Um, that would be amazing. There are. There's... I would love to talk. Uh, just in general, Nate, it would be awesome to talk to you in the future because I would love to talk to you about what you do on Instagram uh, and how you what how your life is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Would love to if you're ever interested in being a guest on the pod on the live show. Would really love to have you on because I'm sure that you have an incredible perspective. Um, yeah, I wonder how his New York Times thing went. We're just outing Nate here. We're just, <laughs> just outing Nate. Um, if you want, go follow him. Cosplay yes, and comics. Cosplay and comics. <laughs> Do it. Um, don't listen to her. Kristen is a monster. Kristen, I'm super intimidated by you. Guys, listen. Guys. Okay, calm down, Tomcat. Correct. I'm very intimidating. <laughs> very intimidating. So yeah. intimidating. So have you seen wait, those eyebrows? Wait, wait. You see, bitch. <laughs> that son of a bitch. <laughs> you see, bitch. Okay, back, back story behind that before we go into the cosplay. Yes, 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 yes. At our, at our photo shoot, <laughs> at the pool party. At the pool party. Um, When, <laughs> when I was cosplaying as B-Pool and we had our darling... Uh, Gwen Poole and our our friend Nikki was um, was Lady Deadpool. Was Lady Deadpool. Um, our, the photographer Phil. Yeah. Uh, got behind the two of them, and it was yeah. it was supposed to be like um like a face shot yeah. of me. We were pointing, attacking at they him. They were attacking at me. Yeah. And uh, I had my bazooka up, and he just said, "Give me the meanest, craziest, sassiest." Like, just give me that face. You couldn't see Nikki or my face. We, I could not, Phil could not see Yeah, not one on camera. Them. And as I'm like mean mugging for the camera, this one <laughs> just says as softly as ever, you see, bitch. And I nearly doubled over laughing. I'm really glad it went over so well. It was, <laughs> oh, it was too much. <laughs> it was too, because I was thinking in my head, I'm like, I'm smiling like Ursula. I'm just like giving the crazy eyes, the giant <laughs> smile. You and then, see, bitch. And then there's that. <laughs> and then there's that, the title of my autobiography coming out soon. A memoir. <laughs> A memoir um, in three parts. But Nate, we will definitely be in touch, and I'm glad the New York Times interview went well. Good! I'm very happy. Hooray! And there goes her ego. And then- <laughs> there goes her ego. That's it. I, the only thing I have an ego about is that I make some great puns from time to time. <laughs> she really That's does. It. I work very oh, hard for She works very hard for the puns. I work very hard. Sometimes I'm like, I wonder if I can incorporate this into a conversation and just man- ma- manage to get it there. Just manage to get, the- get it there. Right the segue. That's it. Just ride, ride the, the segue. Ride the segue. Um, speaking of segways, a a <laughs> cosplayer that is incredibly humble and is incredibly kind mm-hmm. and generous to a fault. If you become, if you become good friends with him, you are very blessed to have him as a friend, mm-hmm. and that is um, Chris Redfield. Yay! 
He goes yeah. by Chris the Iron Man Cruz on Instagram. Yes. Uh, he is a fabulous, fabulous, wonderful, warm-hearted, loving cosplayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, he's a very good friend of mine. Um, uh, please give send him some love. Please do, please Go do. Go like his Instagram always. and his Facebook. Um, I'm pretty sure he has a Facebook. If not, then his Instagram is uh, Chris the Iron Man. Either Chris the Iron Man Redfield no, or... No, it's Chris Redfield the Iron Man, I think. Hold on, I had it up and then... Uh, it is... Chris the Iron Man underscore Redfield. Yes. Um, yeah, if you look him up, you'll find him. You'll find him. Uh, but yeah, very talented cosplayer. Very, very nice dude. Um I love that's that's my favorite thing at the end of this live show is that we get to uh, we get to shout out we some get to shout out amazing someone. lights in the community um, and yes he is he is definitely yeah. one of them yeah um, but uh, other than that I th I think now's the time to say goodbye to all our company and uh, on the topic of ego you can find me at Shed of Kristen <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> That's right, shameless plug. Oh, shameless plug time. How could I have forgotten that? Shameless plug time. Uh, you can find me at Shut Up Kristen on Instagram on, and on YouTube uh, and other places. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you'd like to find me, you can find me on Facebook at TomCatConMom or on Instagram at the.tom.cat. And also for the both of us, uh, Facebook and Instagram both mm -hmm. uh, would be Cat. And, and Kristen, C A T T A N D K R I S T N. Nicky Mouse, Tom Doc. We'll make a song out of it eventually. The kick line the is available <laughs> on Ken Kristen on Instagram. Uh, waiting right there for you. Uh, and if you're attending KatsuCon, remember to leave Friday morning open because we are going to be on a yes, panel at KatsuCon. Yes, Friday morning there will be a panel. I see you with... making your cosplans, and I want you to cosplan to get yourself a coffee and go to this panel uh, so you can learn more about navigating the world of cosplay. Navigating you, the world of cosplay. Whether you've been in it for ten years or for two years, who really knows how to navigate this world? No one does. Nobody. But involved is going to be the two of us. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody loves Tony Ray, yeah. Alana Leilani cosplay, and uh, everybody loves Tony Ray. So and Eric and Eric. Oh yeah, my God! How could I have forgotten? You doubled I, I, Tony Ray. I said everybody loves Tony Ray twice. I oh. have my hands up, ready for Eric. And uh, not that to Tony also deserves my 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 hand gesture. This gesture, not a different hand. This got with this one down. This went down the wrong pipe, real quick. So, uh, in conclusion, uh, <laughs> in summary, um, did you guys say anything? <laughs> um, oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Alana, Alana, uh, rhinestoning tights, etc. We're gonna go. <laughs> Everything's gone. To tights. Ciao me out for now, guys. Bye. Dubai, Mumbai. Mumbai, Dubai. Bye. <laughs>